After a nine-month hiatus from her royal duties, Princess Catherine Middleton's potential return has captured significant public interest. For those unfamiliar with her recent history, Catherine, the future Queen of England, was diagnosed with cancer in March 2024. Since then, she has adhered strictly to her doctor's advice, maintaining a low profile. Now, as a devoted mother of three, she is eager to reconnect with the public and resume her royal responsibilities. How do you feel about Princess Catherine's anticipated return? Tell us in the comments. Palace sources have provided an update on Prince William's travel plans, which reflect the couple's plans for Catherine's gradual return to public life. Despite feeling well, Catherine's recovery remains ongoing, and she is expected to start with a light schedule of engagements. Catherine is looking forward to moving past her medical treatments and focusing on her royal duties once again. She hopes to attend Remembrance Sunday with her family and potentially spend at Sandringham. Do you think these events will mark a significant step in her return? Share your thoughts in the comments. The princess's upcoming schedule is still tentative, with no confirmed dates for her full return to official engagements. Notably, Catherine is not expected to attend the Earthshot Prize Awards in November, as the event will be held in Cape Town, South Africa. This is a significant engagement for the Prince of Wales, but given Catherine's ongoing recovery, her presence there is not anticipated. How do you think this absence will affect the event's atmosphere? Let us know in the comments. Catherine has expressed her eagerness to reconnect with people, a key aspect of her royal role that she finds deeply rewarding. Her time away from public life has been marked by a focus on her health, and she is hopeful that her doctors will soon approve her return to more public-facing work. However, due to the effects of chemotherapy on her immune system, the resumption of such duties may take longer than expected. How do you think the public will respond to her return? Tell us in the comments. During her summer break, Catherine spent restful time with her family at Amner Hall in Norfolk. Despite her absence from public duties, she has remained engaged with her team and has continued to work from home in Windsor. She plans to begin holding meetings with palace staff and representatives from her patronages, including the Royal Foundation and the Centre for Early Childhood. Do you believe this gradual return will be beneficial for both Catherine and her causes? Share your views in the comments. Kensington Palace is currently seeking to expand its team, with a new senior communications officer to be hired. This role will involve managing communication plans for the royal couple's engagements and responding to media inquiries. The position requires discretion and sensitivity, given the high-profile nature of the role and the need to handle sensitive information. How important do you think this new role will be in supporting the princess's return? Let us know in the comments. Princess Catherine's first public appearance in an official capacity since December 2023 was at Trooping the Color, where she was met with great enthusiasm. She also attended the final day of Wimbledon on July 14, receiving a standing ovation from spectators. Her public appearances have been warmly received, and the palace has yet to confirm her next official engagement. How do you think her upcoming appearances will be received by the public? Tell us in the comments. As the Princess of Wales eases back into the public eye, her recovery and gradual return are being closely watched. While Prince William has resumed his royal duties, Catherine's return is anticipated to be a significant event, marked by her renewed involvement in her royal initiatives. How do you expect her reintegration into public life to unfold? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for joining us for this update on Princess Catherine's return to public life. Your feedback and engagement are greatly appreciated as we continue to follow this story. Stay tuned for more updates and continue to share your thoughts and opinions in the comments. Your support helps us bring you the latest and most relevant news.